All right, guys, what's up? This is Ryan from Elevate Security. Now, in this video, I just wanted to be covering the some additional tools, some useful tools uh, before we really get uh, up and running with doing super technical stuff for this guide. So there's a number of tools. And now this, honestly, this script that I created, this tools installer, which I've talked about before on this channel, uh, this is something I created way back in 2018. So I'm definitely not going to be necessarily using the same tools here. So I want to kind of go through this and see what I would still feel is relevant to me and what isn't. So let's see, we're just going to go to the raw version of this and we're going to pull this down on our local box and we can go over what tools might be worth it and what which ones we might not really care about anymore. So <clears throat> in order to do that, I'll just run wget and I think I need to do this with sudo permission here wget and just pass it the URL there. So we pulled that down. Now let's just go into Vim and edit this. Let's see like what we care about, what we don't. So in this case, dir search, definitely a good one. I would still use that, but I've already I've already pulled that down uh, on my system. Oops. Looks like uh, I have to exit out of this and <clears throat> add sudo in front. So we can edit this. Now, I just hit DD to delete these lines, by the way. Maybe I'll do a, a video on Vim if you guys are really interested. There's only a few things that I would need to touch on there. But uh, I'm just going to delete the lines of the stuff that I don't really want anymore. Eyewitness is probably not something I'd use on the OSCP so much. But it's really good. I, a tool like Eyewitness, and I think there's some other tools now that can do the same thing. Uh, maybe a bit more optimized, but uh, a tool like Eyewitness is extremely useful in like bug bounties and stuff like that. But for OSCP, not as much. Mass scan, yeah, we won't really need that for OSCP either. I don't really use this tool. A lot of these tools I probably don't really use so much anymore. Um, Recon NG could be useful, uh, but do we have Recon NG? Let's see. Yeah, we already. So before, see, back in 2018, Recon NG was not prepackaged with Kali Linux. So the upgrades to the distro obviously factors in. Sublister is another thing that, uh, well, you can use it, I believe, like you would uh, Dir search or something like that to do the subdirectories as well. But we already have Dir search for that, Durbuster, GoBuster, all of that. Um, and usually the use case for this would be in, in at least in the ways I was using it was more so for like bug bounties in order to do some uh, DNS to look at for some subdomains, right? So I don't really care about that as much. Aquatone is another one really good for like uh, what subdomain flyovers and stuff like that. There's a lot you can do with that, but I won't really care about it in the context of OSCP. So we've pretty much deleted everything so far. So <laughs> let's go from here. Uh, Word, uh, WordPress scan, I would keep that because I don't know for sure that I've encountered any WordPress sites on OSCP. I definitely have in Hack the Box and I wouldn't be surprised if there's some boxes on OSCP that are running WordPress. I'm sure there is, in fact, it's pretty likely. So we'll keep this one, it's good to have. DNS recon, I think that's another thing. I think we have that now, right? So if you don't know which is a command that I can use to confirm if we have it in our path, not necessarily if it's not in our path doesn't necessarily mean we don't have it, but for sure, if it's in our path, we definitely have it on our system. So this is a quick way I like to check that kind of stuff. So back in 2018, we didn't have that. Now we do, we don't need it. Uh, Go Buster, I believe I already grabbed that anyways. So in this case, right, uh, mass DNS, another thing that I don't care about anymore. Uh, robots disallowed. This one, I think it has some use cases. I'm going to keep it just in case, but uh, I haven't used this one in a while. Uh, sec lists is for sure a really good one. It's a really big download. Uh, but man, you just get so many word lists from it and really good ones. Anything from common, you know, Tomcat 
usernames, common email names, common passwords, the most common 1 million, 10 million passwords, all these, all these different things, most common subdomain names, all kinds of really useful word lists from here. So I would definitely keep that one. Now these ones, these are mostly related to <clears throat> Windows exploitation. I'm going to keep these. These are pretty useful. Uh, there's probably newer stuff now. Maybe I'll, I'll probably definitely add to this script some newer tools later on, but I haven't really been in the weeds with a lot of the uh, a lot of the security testing stuff, so I'm kind of getting back into it. I know what I'm not going to use anymore, pretty much the stuff that I'm deleting, but yeah, I know there's a lot of good stuff out there too. Linium, do I have that? Well, how did they, uh, let's see. Let me just try it like that. I don't think this is prepackaged, but I just want to make sure that was something that wasn't added later. So yeah, we'll take this one. Linpeas is another one. You know what? While I'm on the topic, let me just add that because that was one that this is like the up and comer as far as Linux privx esque check is uh, one called Linpeas. They also have Winpeas. They have a bunch of different stuff. We go back here, right? Linpeas, Winpeas, all this stuff. So let's just grab it all, honestly. So this is a nice little informational thing, how to grab these scripts, right? So if I do uh, git clone and then pass it that URL, then that's how we can bring that in, right? So now we have this suite here, but I think we already made a you know what, let's make a directory for privesque stuff. We'll call it privesque. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move, I think recursively, right? Let me look this up. Actually, maybe I don't have to do any flag here. I think we can move this underneath this, right? Oh, whoops, I accidentally moved that under. <laughs> I realized what I just did, I actually screwed up, right? So privilege escalation, awesome. Yeah, so I actually did screw that up. So okay, well, you'll see how, to, how I'm gonna recover from this screw up here. So actually what I wanna do is move this back. I wanna move this under privesque. Oh man, this naming. <laughs> Okay, uh, wait, oops, I did CD. <laughs> oh man, I, I don't know what's going on. I can't type today, here we go. Jeez, uh, I should just change to the root account so I don't have to worry about this. But okay, now I recovered from that and if I go to privesque, I see that uh, this is a real nightmare. <laughs> I will see that that is now there. So last thing I wanna do is I wanna move the privesque directory or the privilege escalation awesome scripts. Sweet, that's a mouthful. I wanna move that under this here. Oh man, I am struggling a bit today. This is how it is. All right, cool, now I have everything set up how, how I'd like it to be, I believe. Yep, okay. <laughs> So, oh yeah, as you see, I already grabbed Seclus. I didn't notice that at first either. So I'm gonna remove that since only because I already have it, right? If I didn't have it, then then that would be something that I would do at that point. Okay, cool. So from here, yeah, we'll just grab all these uh, priv checker stuff Empire, do we have Empire? I don't think so. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and grab all this stuff as is here, I think that should be good. So from here, what I'm gonna do is save and quit. And uh, we're going to need to make this executable like we saw last time, right? 
We'll just do that with plus X. And now we'll just go ahead and run it. And let's just go ahead and do this as root just so there's no potential complications. So now what's nice is it's going to go and run through that whole entire uh, script there and just going to do all the stuff for us, putting it in our op directory. It's a nice fire and forget it type of thing. So yeah, uh, just to speed this up, I will just go ahead and reconvene back when this script gets done running. All right, it's now completed. So if we look in our op directory, we will see all our new uh, tools there automatically installed. WordPress scan, robots disallow power exploit, you know, all this, all the different stuff basically, right? So yeah, that's pretty much how I would do it. You can go to my link. I'll put it in the description below uh, for the tools installer if you want it, or you maybe, I would recommend pulling it down and then editing it with the tools you want and kind of customizing it, making your own and maybe upload your own stuff to GitHub. I can make a video on uploading Git to GitHub later on if you wanna, if that's something you're interested in. Or you could probably Google, it's pretty simple, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I thought it'd be good to sort of show you what sort of tools, third-party tools that I was using. Uh, third-party, I guess, in the context of outside of what's pre-packaged in Akali. I guess they're all third-party really, right? But, uh, but yeah, what extra, what additional tools I was using and uh, yeah, definitely going to be adding to that list. But yeah, in the next video, we'll be diving into more technical stuff. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Let me know if there's any questions or comments, as always, down in the section below.